All right, guys, it's Shane here with Finley, and I am sitting with Donnie Reynolds, and we are going to ask five questions at Finley. First question. First question. So, Donnie, you've been in finance for a little while now. Yep. But how'd you end up in the car business? I ended up in the car business. I ended up, uh, I just had just graduated high school in 2016. I was working at a busser slash server type deal down at Coyote Cafe. Um, where yeah, good fun. breakfast down there. Yeah, good breakfast. Great breakfast, unfortunately. Why well, I don't go there anymore. Um, <laughs> so I ended up getting an interview at uh, Gonzalez, who then we transferred together down here in May of last year. Or, I'm oh, sorry, two years ago in 2018. How do you like it? Ah, family's been really good to me, actually. Cool. I'm liking it a lot. So my next question that we seem to get a lot is, is what is gap insurance? Uh, gap insurance. So gap insurance is um, it's a guaranteed asset protection. Um, what it does is, uh, well, let's use figures for an example, probably make it a little bit easier to understand. Um, let's say, God forbid, you were to get in an unfortunate accident and your vehicle was to be um, total lost at that point in time. Um, unfortunately, the, uh, your insurance is only going to give you what your vehicle is worth. Let's say your vehicle is worth eight grand, but you owe 12 on it. Well, unfortunately, eight grand is not going to cover what you owe to your lender. The guaranteed asset protection, as in GAP, um, is actually going to step up and pay that remaining difference. That's why we, you know, short call it gap. Um, on top of that, so your insurance also, won't pay your full loan. They will not pay the full loan. They will. They have no. They have no cares in the world what you owe on that vehicle. They only care what it is going for in today's current market. So, um, gap insurance covers that. They also pay your deductible as well. Oh, wow. Shoot, that's cool. Pretty impressive. All right. So this next one's a little tougher. <laughs> okay. So I've heard you're a marvelous dancer. Terrible. Where, where did you get these dance moves from? Watched a lot of hip hop videos when I was little. You know, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Shakira, "Hips Don't Lie," <laughs> I think, was one of my main inspirations. That song got me going. Inspiration, huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I remember that video. It's a good one. It's very inspiring. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad video. <laughs> All right. So my next question is, when it comes to extended service contracts, what vehicles can get an extended service contract? Is Any there some that don't qualify? Not that I've seen. Any vehicle that has wheels and can still move forward qualifies for a vehicle service contract. So 100,000 miles? 100,000 miles. Now they tend to shorten them up a little bit at that point in time, but yeah, still qualify. You can still get a vehicle really? service contract. So if you have a you know, 100,000 mile old beater and you think you still, still get it covered. I can protect my old beater? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so if somebody wanted to get a service contract on an existing vehicle that they already have, is that something that we can still provide for them or it definitely is. Actually, we get a couple of them every month. I think that um, the big problem with this is not enough people know that you can actually purchase an mm -hmm. off street vehicle service contract. The cool thing on top of that is that, I mean, by all means, depending on your vehicle, the prices can vary, um, but you don't have to pay it up front. They actually, we have a program, you, you put 10% down, which is a measly little amount, you know, maybe a hundred to $200 you put down. Um, on top of that, you get a 0% interest payment plan for up to 24 months. Oh, wow. Hey, <laughs> I, I seem to see a lot is, what's the best way to get qualified? Like, you know, if I'm a millionaire and I come in and buy a car, it's really probably not an issue, right? But I'm not. I'm Shane. Right. You know, I right. want to know, you know, how I'm going to get this car. Can I buy this car? Is it affordable? What 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 is the best process for that? The best, the best process that I would recommend is to speak with the professional. One of our trained sales consultants, maybe a finance manager and ourselves, at that point in time, we can then explain. I mean, we'll take a brief look at your credit history and or payment history. Um, at that point in time, we can kind of get you a block of money if you'd like to do it that way. So there's a couple different processes um, to use if you'd like to get qualified as a consumer. Um, first off, as I said, if you have any contact with a you know, with some sort of sales manager or sales consultant at the dealership, reach out to them. We're, by all means, we're all here to help you out. Um, the second way, you can actually just go and do it on your phone, literally, or if you have a desktop computer, tablet, whatever you want, you can go to finleyaz.com. Finleyaz.com, there's a pre-approval you can fill out. Like you can go into the finance and then you go into pre-approval, something along those lines. Um, at that point in time, you're gonna send over a credit application um, where you can just actually inquire for just some additional information. Um, probably within two to three minutes at most, you're going to get a call from an internet sales consultant um, and they're going to start diving into everything that you need. Um, they'll deliver the information that you need over the phone, text, email. Um, again, if, if it needs to go any further than that, they'll actually transfer you to one of the uh, experienced finance managers as myself. 
Joe Cox, Tyler Boatwright, John Wright, Eric. Nor I mean, the list goes on. Any one of us can answer it. I mean, at that point in time, um, if you're if you're somebody looking for a truck, you don't know if you can get it within your payment range. Um, between all of our collective experience, we can easily give you a confident answer whether it seems feasible or no, or does not. If it's not feasible at that time, we can show you alternative options, or we can also even dive into what you can do to take the next step to make it feasible for you. So if I'm a first time car buyer, is there a different process than if I bought 10 cars? Well, no, We every, every, everybody goes through the same process. Um, at that point in time, there'd just be different stipulations. Okay. Again, depending upon the situation, because I mean, you'd like to think that everybody that has had credit for 40 years is the same, unfortunately not. You'd like to think that every first time buyer is in the same position, it's not. So again, it's all dependent on you and yourself only, but we typically like, to, it, you're gonna follow the same same process, whether you're 40 years in or, or how many uh How many first time buyers do you see versus the other guy, the, the 40 year car buyer? So you know what is pretty cool around here is, um, yeah, I see a lot of mix of both. Up here at the main dealership, we, we tend to see a little bit more of the experienced car buyers that have you know, been doing it since the 70s and 80s, buying their first cars, you know. Uh, but down at the used car center where we have, actually we get a lot of traffic down there that are down there buying their first vehicles, first or second, or you know, maybe their first without their parents co-signing. I mean, there's a lot of first time buyers, a lot of um, less experience down there at the used car center. so. I see it often. Actually. So I heard you mention co-signer. Um, when you have a co-signer, do you still get credit for that? One hundred percent. So if your um, if your parents are feeling very generous or they're here to help you out to make the journey a little bit easier, um, and they throw you on the co-sign, you'd imagine the way it sounds that you get less of credit, if not any. Um, actually, it's the complete opposite. You guys get the exact same amount of credit. Oh, wow. So um, to give you an example of myself, my dad actually co-signed for my first loan on a you know a cheap little Chrysler 200 about three, four years ago. Um, I kept that vehicle for about two, two, two and a half years, something along those lines. Um, didn't miss a beat on the payments. I ended up buying a brand new truck here at Finley for about $40,000, an extra you know, $30,000 on the loan, and I qualified for no problem at, I mean, a great interest rate. So I'm firsthand experience. You, it's, it's not too that coast, hard. That cosign's a pretty good deal, huh? Not bad. <laughs> I got lucky. <laughs> Well, I appreciate it, Donnie. Of course. Uh, I appreciate it. If you have any more questions that you want to know, uh, feel free to leave a comment, and we will uh, try to answer all your questions.